Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to restore a database from differential backup in SQL Server. We'll be using two ways to do it, using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and other one is using T-SQL script. Keep in mind when you restore a differential backup, you have to have a full backup that's called base of that differential backup. If you don't have a full backup, it's going to give you error and we're going to go ahead and reproduce that error as well and uh, let's go ahead and do that this is my server right here tech brother sql sql prod is my instance so we're going to go ahead and restore differential backup on this particular sales orders so i'm going to go ahead right click task and go to restore databases so we're going to click on device and click on little square right here that'll take us to the path where our backup is stored so we're going to go ahead and click add and right here is my differential backup what i'm going to do first just add the differential backup and reproduce that error that it cannot be restored until full backup is added and then we're going to go ahead and add the full backup and restore the database and see if we're successful so we're going to go ahead and click on differential backup click ok and Here's our differential backup. As you can see, type is differential backup and destination is sales order. And up here, options are where we can go ahead and click on override existing database. Uh, up here, it's going to go ahead and tail log the backups. If you don't, if let's say that um, this particular, excuse me, this particular restore fails, you don't want your database go in restore mode because if it does go in restore mode, the database is going to be unusable. So you have will not have any option but to restore that database correctly for users to use it. Uh, if you have these options uh, uh, clicked, but if you don't have these options clicked, if you get an error, database will remain online and it'll just say that okay I cannot restore it so we're gonna keep the uh, tail log same uh, just just to produce that error as well or that scenario as well so we're gonna go ahead and click on general and click on OK and here we go we got an error let's look at the error it says restore database sales order failed however T log backup the tail log backup sorry um, operation completed successfully and as you can see, the differential backup cannot be restored because the database has not been restored to the correct earlier state. That means that you haven't basically restored the full backup. How can I go ahead and restore the differential backup? So in order to overcome this error, as you can see right here, the sales order has gone into restoring state. It has become unavailable for any other users to use it because it's in restoring state. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK and now we know the reason so we're gonna go ahead and add our full backup to this device right here backup media so we're gonna go ahead and add and we'll we're gonna leave the differential backup right here we're gonna go ahead and add full backup right here is my full backup that I took before differential backup we're gonna go ahead and click OK as you can see it reordered itself that first the full and then the differential and up here you can see that it's all the information about the full backup what time it was taken what time the differential was taken and we're gonna go ahead and click on option we're gonna go ahead and leave the options right here it says um, let's say if we unclear this this is gonna be not overwriting the existing database but we do have an option right here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and click overwrite existing database with replace and we're going to go ahead and restore the database uh, into um, uh, recovery so that it the, the database will become available for our users to use however if you have transaction logs and you wanted to restore those transaction you need to click on restore this option and click on restore with no recovery because transaction log restore needs to have the database in restoring mode right here as you can see it's a restoring mode so you cannot uh, go ahead and restore your transaction log backup if database is completely online and not in restoring mode so we're going to go ahead and uh, leave the recovery because this video is all about differential backup so we're going to go ahead and click ok now and see if we get that particular error 
who the error was asking us to go ahead and add the full backup because I do need my base backup before I will go ahead and restore the differential. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And it says the database sales order restored successfully. As you can see, the sales order database is restored. So what we're going to do now is uh, uh, go ahead and use T-SQL script, do the same thing. A script, as you can see, the backup log, this is the, the tail log that is going to take right here, as you can see. And then after that, it is going to restore the full backup. If you take a look right here, it's going to take the full backup and in no recovery mode because it needs to it recognize that it needs to basically go ahead and do the differential backup you need to have the full backup in no recovery in order for differential backup to restore um, and uh, this is what it's going to do first full backup restore and then it's going to go differential backup so we're going to go ahead and run this script and see if we get our database restore successful click execute and as you can see our database is restored successfully so basically this is it this is how you um, restore your database uh, um, you restore database from differential backup keep in mind that uh, there are a couple scenarios that we um, did uh, in our demo one is that uh, we do need our base backup which is uh, the full backup of differential backup and then we can go ahead and use SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T-SQL script and I hope this video helps.